An Eagle County man dies en route to a backcountry hut, the 25th skier death of the season. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, blazing fast 5G data is coming to Breckenridge, but town officials aren't happy about the way it might tarnish their historic downtown. The Summit Daily reports on last week's town council meeting, where council learned new federal guidelines will require 5G antennas every 500 feet in downtown Breck in coming years. That rankled Mayor Eric Mamula, who wondered what would happen if the town refused. Town attorney Tim Berry responded, I don't mean to be rude, but the federal government is telling you, you got to have it. Federal rules demand 5G upgrades as soon as possible. Last year, residents were up in arms when Verizon Wireless won a permit to build a new cell site in Breck's historic district. These 5G sites will be smaller, but more frequent and widespread. Speaking of Verizon Wireless, the carrier this March confirmed it will update its local mobile network sometime this spring, hopefully fixing widespread issues with dropped calls and slow data. So far, that upgrade has not happened. Verizon says the issue is increased traffic on I-70 and through towns like Frisco, where data usage has jumped 60% since last year. An Eagle County man died over the weekend while traveling to a backcountry hut to celebrate his 21st birthday. Details on Paul Cuthbertson's death are slowly coming together. The Vail Daily reports he left Friday afternoon for Polar Star Inn, a hut at 11,000 vertical feet on New York Mountain in Eagle County. It's unclear if he was traveling solo. When he failed to arrive by Saturday morning, friends started searching and called authorities. His body was found soon after. Authorities believe he left the approach route at some point while weather was snowy and windy. Cuthbertson was a graduate of Vail Ski and Snowboard Academy. He is the 14th backcountry death of the season and 25th skier death overall. It's graduation season across the U.S. with high school and university grads getting diplomas. But what degrees will pay that future home mortgage? Data science, software engineering, and physical therapy are three of the top 25 best-paying jobs for new graduates. A data scientist can expect starting pay of $95,000. All of the top 10 most lucrative degrees are technical, driven by data and digital business. In sports, the Rockies lost to the Phillies yesterday 7-5, closing out a losing sweep of that Philly series. The Rockies take a day off before opening an away series with the Pirates. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, Summit Girls Rugby finished third overall at this weekend's 15s Nationals on the front range, losing to Catholic Memorial of Wisconsin in the semifinal and beating Grandville of Michigan 17-12 for third. Congrats to nine seniors on this year's 15s team and 12 seniors with the program. Saturday was the 11K Boneyard Boogie and Eagle opening race of the Vail Trail Running Series where Tyler Curtis of Golden won the men's title while Kylie Van Horn of Carbondale took the women's race. Dylan's Eric Black finished second for 50-59 to year old men. Terry Summer of Frisco won the women's 60-69 to division. The local Summit Trail Series starts June 12th. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.